So I decided why pay somebody thousands of dollars to install this when I could just YouTube it and try not to screw up. Living in a small space can be a bit tricky and something that you have to get used to. And so we just get creative. Hey, I'm Jared. And I'm Kayla. Come take a tour. Welcome to our kitchen. Our old sink actually had two segments. It was completely white and it was plasticky. So we replaced it for this one, which is just a whole trough sink. And we have a faucet that can be moved around. Super helpful in small spaces. And then this is our water purifier. And the water purifier is actually under here. So right here we have our Acuva water purifier, which is a UV purifier. Now we get all of our fresh water normally from gas stations. We find most of our water spigots from iOverlander, which is an app that you can use that helps you find fresh water sources or where to dump. Over here we have our stove and an oven. The oven has plenty of room. We have a little temperature gauge in here because that is one catch to living with a propane oven, at least in our rig, is that you can't tell really what it's set at because it's just a little finicky. So I might set it at 300, but it, it will fluctuate. So we do kind of have to watch that a little bit. Now let's go ahead and get into the storage in this kitchen. So these drawers, we keep utensils, spatulas, things like that. And the third drawer is actually a junk drawer. So like your batteries, um, placemats, pot, pot holders. And these are actually all the spices we have in our rig. We just keep them right here. And then we use this bungee cord when we are traveling to keep them from falling. And it actually works. We hardly ever come in with the spices falling on the ground. It does happen every once in a while, but for the most part, the bungee cord is foolproof. And then we have our fridge. It actually works on propane and electricity. We typically keep it on propane, but with our solar, we can run it on electricity without really being worried about it. We're thinking about upgrading it to a residential fridge at some point. That way we don't have to pull as much electricity because these fridges that run on propane or electricity actually take up a lot of energy when flipped on to electricity. Next to the kitchen space, we have this whole L bar. Now before there used to be a couch here, okay? And it was a couch that you could pull out and you could sleep a person there. And we, since it's just me and Jared, we didn't really need that. So we decided we were gonna take it out and put in this whole section. So everything you see here, we built, and that's also including these cabinets. The hardest thing about a trailer is, do you have the counter space? Well, we have the counter space and it has been literally a game changer for us, especially working in the rig. So this is our living room. It was originally a dinette, but we removed that and just opted for this big couch because it kind of opens the space up a little bit more and we wanted a more of a open concept in our trailer. Up ahead, this is all food storage, nothing but food in here. And then we have my plant, which travels with us. <laughs> I, it's the one thing that I really wanted to have with us from um, normal life was my plant. We replaced the mattress in this pretty early on. We originally had a box spring mattress. Over here, we have the hanging clothes. So this is like our shirts and our hoodies that all just hang in here. Pants, socks, hoodies, hats, just all the odds and ends that don't hang go up here. I have um, these little storage bags that I use. I have a lot of clothes, so it was hard to downsize. And I have a sock bag a bra bag. I have a little swimming suit bag. It has like all of my swimming suits and swim shirts. So if I go wakeboarding, I have all those in there. And up ahead, you can see that we have this little black deer. It is actually 3D printed. My dad actually does a lot of 3D printing. So he printed this for us. I grew up in Farmington, New Mexico and I never really camped at all. I didn't like the outdoors, and I was just a musician, so I was spending a lot of time just indoors playing the piano. I grew up in Idaho, and we actually did a lot of camping, primarily boondocking, and yeah, I just, I spent a ton of time outdoors camping. We met in music school in 2018. We were, I was studying piano performance, and Kayla was studying flute performance, and uh, we actually started playing together, and then we, Love. <laughs> that's how we met. That's how we met. <laughs> and then uh, we wanted to get married during co like before COVID. We were planning getting married, and everything just shut down. So we said, let's just get married tonight. So we got married in my living room. We had a living room wedding. <laughs>
After we finished our bachelor's degrees, we continued and we moved to Arizona and we got our master's degrees. And that's when we started to realize like we were spending a ton of time in small spaces on our instruments and we did not get outdoors that often. Yep, and I really started to miss that, you know, especially growing up, so used to the outdoors. So that brought us to the idea of could we live in a trailer? So we took a trip down the PNW with the Oregon coast and we realized that people actually do it. Yeah. And we said, well, if they do it, we, we can do it too. So I decided why pay somebody thousands of dollars to install this when I could just YouTube it and try not to screw up. We have 600 amp hours of lithium batteries. We have four 440 watt panels on the roof. So that's almost 1800 watts of solar, which is amazing. And we can recharge these batteries pretty quickly on a sunny day. A Victron shunt and distributor, a Victron smart, solar charge controller, as well as the Victron MultiPlus, which allows us to run our air conditioner, microwave, literally anything in here off the batteries, which is amazing. So this is the control center for our entire electrical system with the solar. It is just fun to sit and watch because you can see we're getting 800 watts of solar. We're only using like 26 watts of DC, 23 watts of AC loads, and we're at 100%. So if I kick the microwave on or the AC on, It'll pull from the batteries right there and it'll pull and it'll recharge them with the solar. So a lot of our research was done on like how to fix this thing up because like Kayla said, a lot of the things were broken and needed replaced. And so we spent three weeks renovating. We did the floors. Um, Painted. Painting, that took forever. So. Painting took so long. Uh, floors, painting, new mattress, all those things. Um, we probably put about like six or seven thousand into the renovation itself and that doesn't include the solar that was later that was we just separate. got that about six months after living in it yeah about a couple of years before we hit the road we started working for a company that teaches music online and it just started as, as like a side thing and then we realized that that was would be the way that we could continue to make money from anywhere in the world we also started an Instagram and that has actually helped us with being able to connect with people on the road, with making a little extra income here and there, and it's been perfect. It's just called Jared and Kayla. And yeah, that has also been a really great means for meeting people on the road. And that is a great tip for you too, if you're wanting to start. Get an Instagram, you will meet people. All right, welcome to the rear of the camper. We've got two bunk beds here, a full and a twin. We mostly use it for just storage and occasionally we'll have some people come over and it's awesome to have a space where they can stay. We also have a washing machine that we are trying out. It just kind of spins it all out and washes it and then we can hang dry it so we don't have to go to the laundromat as often. Then right behind me we have the vanity and the bathroom. When we did the renovation the original sink was very oddly shaped and so the easiest thing to do was to just plop one on top of the weird shaped hole and we love how it looks. This countertop as well as the one in the kitchen are just fake butcher block paper. So we just covered up the previous counter with this, it's like a contact paper. Before we renovated, the mirror had like an opening where we could put all of our cosmetics and stuff. And so now we just put most of that underneath here. We've got soaps and toothbrushes and blow dryers and things. And then we also have uh, in the bathroom, some storage on the door. Because we lost the space in that mirror, we wanted to do this shoe rack. And so it has all, it's a total mess, but it has all of our cosmetics and just more storage space. That is a must for tiny living is just finding storage space. And then here in the bathroom, we didn't really do much. We wanted to just, it's the bathroom. So we didn't care as much how it looked. So we have the original uh, shower and then we actually have a tub. We also have the original toilet that came with the camper and that's a, a must for us was we wanted to have a toilet so that we didn't have to just find one on the road. Living in a small space can be a bit tricky and something that you have to get used to. And so we just get creative. Sometimes I'm working on the bed or on the couch or in the bunks or mostly outside. But really other than that, we don't really have a hard time living in this small space. I am pretty short, so it's not typical or I don't really take up that much room so when we're like passing through the trailer I just don't take up that much space so <laughs> and you're so skinny and tall well you have to kind of be like hey I'm coming through like <laughs> squeezing yeah. around or hey I'm going over here like, you have to like announce the way you're going but honestly our trailer is 29 feet long and so it's 
for us, it's big. There's plenty like, of space. People live in vans and a lot smaller than this. So for us, we feel like it's the perfect size. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching our tour. If you want to follow along with our journey and learn more about this lifestyle, we're on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. It's just Jared and Kayla. J-A-R-E-D and... K-A-Y-L-A. Bye.